Vicky here with you and today I want to do something that is um, that is just fun I saw rich zero one one three don't reach uh, oh 113 on YouTube do something like similar and I thought it was brilliant and I really want to I need some embellishment for a canvas that I want to make and I thought this would be a great opportunity to do so um, by the way, I get a lot of comments on what do I put on my finger, my hands, um, and it's Art Guard. It's this. Uh, I've put the link in the description box below for Amazon where you can get this product. Uh, this is great. It creates a film um, on your hands, so it makes the cleanup easier. Um, because I hate wearing gloves to work. Okay, so my the, the what I saw her do is an embellishment with puzzle pieces. So that's what I want to do and uh, to start I'm thinking that uh, I want to put I'm thinking of the glam glitter paint this one is Caspian Sea just think it's so pretty so 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 pretty so I've uh, just sold already my pieces and that's what um, that was my base now I'm just going over the base. Oh, look at that color, guys. Isn't that yummy? <gasps> I just love Tattered Angel's uh, product. So, so yummy, the colors. Just, oh. yeah. Beautiful. And because those are relatively small I mean I'm not going to be doing too 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 much on them um, I want to create a basically a, a raised effect looked look to them oh, I love this color I love anything that's turquoise and that sort of thing That's the first base for those. Now, for the other ones, I'm thinking that maybe I want this. This is the Iron Pack Copper Paint, and I'm going through this paint like crazy. I love it so, so, so much. I'm so glad I get to use my puzzle pieces because I have so many of them. And my gesso lifted a bit, which is very annoying. And it does that.
Okay. And then for the top one, I was thinking maybe I can use this one here, which is Mallard. And it's um it's also a bluish turquoise type of color. But more with the blues than the turquoise. So maybe I can do two like this. like this and then I have here this one here which is uh, navy blue which is very dark blue unless I use man cave man cave might be nice but, um, this is the man cave Sorry, this is the Men Cave um, thing, but this is Boardwalk. And that one would be nice. It's kind of a charcoal from what I can see. I need a smaller brush to go in. Yeah, it's kind of a charcoal type of color. nice if it would dry kind of blotchy like this give it a bit of a texture because the smaller piece are going to be harder to uh, put texture on obviously because they're smaller okay so then uh, then I thought I've got this stencil um, this dilution stencil these aside so I don't create them. So I've got this dilution stencil with the um, the holes and stuff and I thought I could use that on top of this and use the chocolate brown. Ah, it's pretty give a good coverage and this I don't want to waste it's way too yummy to waste so just open up a book and just put it like so because I really don't like to waste and I could have wiped, wiped it on something else but this kind of made this paper fun so maybe I can uh, put, change this one out I really love using deli paper in other uh, projects, so that's a good way of uh, reusing them. Okay, so 
to dry this off. So what I was thinking with these was to layer this on top. Like that. And then layer the smaller ones. Now I'm thinking I want to add something to these as well. Um, maybe I should reuse my other one. That was a mess. Since it's already a mess. And uh, what do I want to put for this? I have another stencil here. It could be fun. Has to be kind of big enough, but small enough as well. So it's kind of a strange combination but maybe something like this and uh, do I use I think I want to use the brown from this set which is rich brown it's gonna be different from the previous unless I use the men cave the, 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 man cave, the boardwalk Kind of tie it with what I had already. So let's try that. Can't really see the design, but you do have the splatters, which is cool. And uh, this goes back to where it was. And uh, this is side as well. So, so yeah, now we've got these pieces. And then this would go like on top. And then, uh, then I was thinking I could put the little one on there, and then this one, kind of like this. Now I really like this so far, just wonder if I want to put anything else on this. This is what I used on them. Or did I use a navy? Might have used a navy. Don't remember. Or use mallard. Yeah, use mallard. So. I think I want something a bit darker. Of 
wish I made something. Oh. Right, I find it. Oh. The pleasures of working in a small space. that there instead and this here. Yeah. I add a bit of this to it. something a bit lighter just to tie it together. That one on top is this one that's missing a little something. I can just add a bit of this. fingers are a mess. I can you imagine if I hadn't put the uh, hand guard? I've got trouble taking this stuff off right now. Okay, so I think I want to add just a bit of the blue as well. The turquoise. to do. Okay, so now I've pulled out my archival sepia ink. The puzzle piece. Just to give it a a bit of a of an edge. I 
I didn't want to use black. So I thought this would be a good option. It's lighter, but it still gives some sort of edging to it. As you can see the difference between that one and this one, right? So it just gives this cool little edge that's a bit more finished. So I really like that. Now I think I want to do the same thing to these pieces. Just kind of darken the edge a bit. funny because it doesn't look brown, it kind of accentuates the eye impact paint. So I really like that. Okay, so, so let's start with that because those are still quite wet. So I was saying that I would like to place it there. Place them there here. So I'm going to use my gel medium to put those together. If I can find my little, I can never find it. Ah, there it is. A little spatula. So, so like that. Now my little pieces, they're not dry. Oh, they're not dry and I go and put my finger right on them. In this case, I don't know if it's really required to add the uh, the extra step of uh, edging it. Because I'm not sure that I'll be able to get into all the little crevices. So I wonder. 
just should just use my bit pen. Oops, that that one is not a brush. It does finish it off a bit nicer than just without anything. It's just that the puzzle pieces are so very tiny, it's hard to get into all the little crevices. way too much on there. For this little one, What you're hearing, if you're hearing all the noise, is because my son is running on top of my head, which is in his room. So, thinking yeah, that one just like this. done. Now this one we've done. So now I just need to edge this as well. Well I'll go away a little piece. So those, uh, like I said, I want to use them on a canvas, but uh, those embellishment could be used in a journal as well, or on top of a journal. If I was putting it in a journal, I might not put as much um, different layers, like I might not have put three puzzle pieces together, but uh, if you're going to put it in a anything that's out, then that's not a problem. Now 
And then finally the last one. go so a little piece is done right okay so I've got my two embellishments now it's going to be a question of doing a canvas but I'm quite happy with how these little embellishment turned out hope you've liked this hope it inspires you to do your own and to have fun I will be putting down in the description box below the link to all the beautiful products that I use uh, go and check it out it's uh, beautiful beautiful products you're gonna love it and that's it bye everyone